welcome back to Ask Ideans once again with your same teacher, which was telling who was telling you something about the ionic equilibrium. Now, since we have done, we have covered a lot of topics behind. Now it's a time that, that we should begin up with a new new topic of the chapter, and this new topic will be basically covering the concepts of acids and bases. To study what do we mean by an acid and what do we mean by an, a base, there were different concepts which were given by different scientists. So different groups of scientists propose different concepts and all these concepts will be starting in today's lecture. I hope you all are ready for the lecture. Let's start with the lecture once again. Okay students, so let's now proceed over to the another topic which is given to us where we are going to discuss about the concepts of acids and bases. Since we all know what an acid is and what a base is, but there must be something which was given earlier because of which now we are able to correlate how do we know something about that this is called an acid and this is called a base. So for that thing, let us now try to understand what were the concepts of acids and bases that were given to us. The very first concept of acid and base that was given, it states that the Arrhenius concept. And according to the Arrhenius concept, which says that an acid is a substance which can give the hydrogen ions in the aqueous solution as the only cation. For example, if I start discussing about this, I say that if I take HCl, now if I dissolve this HCl in water, that means if I'm trying to make the HCl aqueous or the a solution of HCl, this is going to dis uh, dissociate and it gives me H positive and Cl minus. So the cation which is generated on the dissociation of HCl is a hydronium ion like an H positive ion. So any such compound which is going to give hydrogen ions in the aqueous solution on dissociation as the only cation, such are known as Arrhenius acids. The other example to be considered here is acetic acid. Now if I dissolve acetic acid in water, what we are going to get is, we'll get CH3COO minus and H positive. Now here also in this case the cation given is H positive so we can say that the Arrhenius acid is so the acetic acid which we have taken here is an example of Arrhenius acid. Now let's move over to the another thing there was